So if someone walks into OVA, Office of Victim Assistance, we're going to ask, you know, how can we help you today? What's going on? What brought you in? So we're going to really let you, the person walking in, lead the process, letting us know, I'm not quite sure why I'm here. My, my friend told me to come here. So, you know, we'll give them space to talk a little bit about what's going on in their life and then ask them if they want to know, like if it's something criminal that's happened to them. Do they want to know their options on who they can report it to, medical options? Um, so we'll, we'll ask them if they want to know that. Or we'll ask them, do you just need a place to kind of talk about how this has been impacting you, if you've noticed things in your life changing, relationships, school. Um, so we're really going to follow their lead and let them know that we're here to support them. Um, a reason someone could use our office is they've experienced a crime or something bad has happened to them. And so we're trained therapists and advocates. So to get more specific, you could come in for a serious accident, a bias-motivated incident, harassment, sexual assault, uh, domestic, uh, domestic violence, intimate partner abuse, stalking, uh, sexual harassment, grief and loss, so if you've lost someone that is close to you, and natural disasters, you know, like we worked a lot with people who were maybe impacted by Hurricane Katrina back a few years ago. Or um, We also have a category of other, which is quite large because we're not here to label your experience. We can't completely cover all the different reasons people would see us in one long list. So um, that's why we like the vague term of when something bad happens. Advocacy to me is someone who can support you. That's someone who is knowledgeable about different systems and can help either explain your options or guide you through those systems. A lot of times you hear the word advocate, again, associated with law enforcement or with the criminal process. And those are areas that we are knowledgeable and can let people know about how to use. Um, but we can also be an academic advocate where maybe you're not sure how to approach a professor about why you've missed class because you've had this, you know, unfortunate thing happen in your life. So as an advocate, our office does something called professor notifications. And what that is is that we would ask that you come in and meet with us, talk about what's going on, and then we can work with you on potentially sending out an email to your um, professors explaining in your words or using vaguer language that something has happened and how that typically can impact people. It gives a little bit more validity and validation when you then follow up with your professors about how to meet your academic, <coughs> excuse me, academic obligations. So really our notification is just to make that path a little easier to follow up with your professors so you can talk with them about how to proceed. We can't make professors or faculty do anything, we can just make that path a little easier for you to go down.